see over the next five years, 10 years, will dwarf everything that's happened over the last 30. We went from automating pen and paper, right, with spreadsheets, to connecting PCs into local area networks to, right. you know. Connecting them. Connecting people to each locally, other. yeah, locally, right, to connecting networks to get the internet, to getting the network effect of communicating people globally. But now we're introducing machine intelligence, you know, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, neural networks, et cetera. So, and what that enables is the automation of automation, right? And so the people who were writing software, particularly at the lower end, unless you, you're doing right. these advanced things, they're gone, right? The people that- Because the do, software's writing itself. It's doing degree. itself, right? It's just math. Programmer back in the day, so when I was writing code, it was the algorithms were if this, then that. Right. X or whatever it may be, right? right? But you had to guess. Right, you had to use your, your best instance, and then it got smarter and smarter and smarter, and libraries to do bigger and better things. All that is being automated, and so now you have to know how to use that stuff. So either software works for you, or you work for software, and once the software takes over, you're gone. Right. So unless you understand that, you don't understand that the nature of work is changing, the nature of employment is going to change, and from a business, from a stock perspective. If you're in the Fortune 500, um, if you're an S&P 500 company, if you're in the Dow 30, right, if you're one of the bigger companies, you already know this. And in talking to a lot of these big companies, they know their workforce is, you know, and given the supply and demand of stocks, the supply is shrinking right. and the demand is going up just as the economy grows. That's probably good news for stocks over the long term, but it's bad news for employment and it's bad news for people who are disrupted. Well, and that's part of the thing, right? Is that, is that there's a time when GM was the largest employer and the companies like GM was what employment looked like. If Facebook's what it looks like, the revenue per employee at Facebook is infinitely larger right. than, than any but automaker the could ever make or time, any manufacturer could the make. The difference is the time lag, right? The timeline. So what took 20 years before and then became 10, could be five or three. And so when you start getting that massive amount of disruption in employment, what do you do? The whole nature of employment's going to change. There aren't manufacturing jobs coming back. There aren't more coal mining jobs coming back. No matter what you do to the EPA, they are going to be, a lot of these jobs are going to be gone. Now, there, there's still physical things. If you do infrastructure, you can kind of you know, buy some time, right? spend more, get temporary jobs to build roads, build bridges, which is all fine and good. right? I think you can get a return on much of those things. But you, we, you're going to have to recognize that there are going to be more people out of work. So, you know, through this innovation. Yeah. So essentially what you made the case for is, is education and job training for grown-ups. No, 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 I think that won't matter, right? What are you going to go back and learn to do? What it takes, right? I mean, whether it's Whether it's finance, whether it's software no, programming. Finance, that's the easiest thing. You just take the data and have it spit out whatever you need, right? You're, I personally think there's going to be a greater demand in 10 years for liberal arts majors than there were for programming majors and maybe even engineering because when the data is all being spit out for you, you or you know options are being spit out for you, you need a different perspective in order to have a different view of the data. And so having somebody who's more of a freer thinker and you know because if everything's being if automation is being automated, you just learn the tax rules. You just you just feed right. the automation the tax rules and it does the rest for you. So English majors of the world should celebrate. I think English, philosophy, you know, um, foreign language majors, maybe not now, they're gonna starve for a while, but that's not even the real issue, right? The real issue is if one million, two million, three million, five million people have their jobs disrupted, and we, all, we see the direction everything is going and how quickly it's going, what are you gonna do with them? 